Introduction The concepts of osmosis, diffusion, and active transport concern the movement of molecules and are some of the foundational terminologies of the biology curriculum. Nevertheless, the terms are frequently confused and misunderstood. According to research by Reinke et al., most first-year biology students have a large number of misconceptions concerning the aforementioned terms. It implies that the topic of molecular movement appears to be highly complex and challenging, therefore, it is essential to elaborate on the terminology. The current paper attempts to analyze osmosis, diffusion, and active transport and discuss the primary differences between these core concepts. Definitions while the three notions are defined by the movement of molecules, there are some drastic differences between them. However, before contrasting the types of movement, it is essential to provide a brief definition for each of them. Diffusion is a type of passive transport of molecules across the cell membrane from areas with a high density to regions with a low density of molecules. This type of movement might be simple which refers to standard passive intervention through the membrane, or it might be facilitated which requires assistance from a carrier molecule. Osmosis has a similar definition, the movement of water molecules across a selectively permeable membrane from a region of higher water concentration to a region of lower water concentration. Lastly, active transport concerns the transfer of molecules against their concentration gradient and, contrary to the previous concepts, from a region of low concentration to an area of high concentration. Overall, some of the core differences between the concepts are noticeable from the very definitions. Differences Having established the definitions for osmosis, diffusion, and active transport, it is possible to examine the differences between the notions. The concepts are primarily contrasted by the direction of movement, the type of transported substances, and whether energy is required for the process. The former is described in the definitions of the notions. The type of substances is the core difference between the processes. Diffusion transports various substances, including carbon dioxide, water, food substances, and oxygen, while osmosis allows only for the transportation of water. On the other hand, active transport primarily concerns the movement of mineral ions in plants and glucose in animals. Furthermore, Unlike diffusion and osmosis, active transport requires energy to effectively function. Additionally, as mentioned before, active transport is not passive, like osmosis and diffusion, and, therefore, has a few consequent distinguishing marks. Active movement is generally a rapid, unidirectional, and selective process that is also affected by temperature. On the other hand, passive movements including osmosis and diffusion are slow, bidirectional, and not affected by temperature. Conclusion Summing up, the current essay has provided the definitions of osmosis, diffusion, simple and facilitated, and active transport of molecules and discussed the core differences between the concepts. As mentioned in the introduction, these notions prove to be complex for a large number of students, and, therefore, it is essential to analyze the three features and get a better understanding of the subject. The primary differences between the concepts include the type of movement, the need of energy, and the forms of substances transported. Overall, having examined the contrast between osmosis, diffusion, and active transport, it becomes considerably easier to understand the more complex topics regarding the cell processes. You can find this and many other essay samples on our website, studycorgi.com.